Hello, I'm Michael Malinoff, and welcome to the County Administrator's Monthly Report on Video. Today, our guest is Eileen Minnick. Eileen Minnick is our Director of Recreation, Arts, and Tourism. Welcome, Eileen. Thank you, Mike. I'm happy to be here. Two things I want to talk about today. One is uh, Eileen's new department, a relatively new department, Recreation, Parks and Tourism. Just a brief intro about what the department's about and what you all are doing. But then the real spice of the discussion is going to be about a new park the county's taking over, uh, Chapel Point State Park. You talked a little bit to the commissioners about it at the last meeting and I, it was uh, really well received and going to be a neat addition to the county's park inventory. So. Why don't you tell us a little bit about Recreation, Parks, and Tourism first, Eileen? Oh, I'd be delighted to. Approximately a year and a half ago, county government went through a reorganization, and one of the highlights of that reorganization, in my opinion, is the creation of our new department. Uh, traditionally, Parks and Rec is known together, but here in Charles County, we weren't. We worked as partners, but we were in different departments. Recreation fell under my Department of Community Services, and uh, Public Works oversaw the Parks and Grounds Division. Uh, tourism was out there and moved around in several offices, so it's a perfect pairing to bring the three divisions together. We already had partnered together. It's been a wonderful blending of services and opportunities, and we've just seen great growth, as you referenced, with our new park coming on board. So we're excited about Chapel Point State Park. Great. And, and your offices are all located, for the most part, together at a Port Tobacco? For the most part, in-house staff are all located at the Port Tobacco facility. Our ground staff still resides over at Department of Public Works. Their shop is there, all their equipment is there. So until we can find a true home for all of us to come together, which hopefully is a five-year dream of mine that we'll be able to do that. Um, but what we are doing now is working very, very well, and a lot of our staff are out in the field the majority of the time anyway. Great. And with uh, tourism being under your wing, one of the neat things that you all have recently done is unveiled a branding study. Yes. Uh, can you tell us a little bit about that? Very excited with how that study came out. That was about a year-long process. I uh, worked with a contractor, received a lot of community input, worked with a lot of our partners, feedback surveys. What does Charles County really mean to a lot of people? And how can we sell and promote our county? Because we have a beautiful, fantastic county. So the outcome of, of that long process is our tagline is Legends, Lore, Room to Explore. Uh, if you think of the history of Charles County, we have quite a few legends within our county. We have an open county. We're suburbia, yet open space, so there's lots of room to explore. If you're a cyclist or an outdoor adventurist, we have acres and acres of properties for people to come, as well as we have our hotels and um, developmental area in the Waldorf area for shopping, antique shops, everything to that effect. So we think Legends Lore, Room to Explore fits very nicely. I'm happy also to share that we just wrapped one of our county vehicles to help advertise with our logo. Um, the logo represents Charles County with a historic oak tree. Oak trees are strong and in nature. And as you look at the logo, there is also some fields and you can see a, a path that could either be for driving, cycling, hiking, walking, which fits in with all our activities. Kayaking. Kayaking, you can see some water in the background with that also. So we have a, a wide uh, array of activities here in Charles County that we want to promote, um, not just to our local citizens, because we have so many new citizens coming into our county, but also to those that are outside of our county and bring people here to, to enjoy the beauty of Charles County. Well, it sounds really cool, because I think the the logo speaks to people and the visuals of it also gives people a little bit of an idea of, of uh, kind of the neat corners and ways that you can go in in Charles County. Yes, and hopefully people will see our vehicle out on the road. Well, speaking of wandering and, and uh, room to explore, when I first came here um, and I was living in downtown La Plata, I got out on my bicycle and I went down to Chapel Point State Park. And a beautiful road, nice, uh, nice ride down. But I took a little right turn into a kind of a, a little beaten road down to the water. And I said, wow, this is really quite a special place. 
um, I came back to the office and I talked to Deb Hall about it. She said, you know, your predecessor kind of did the same thing on foot. And um, I thought, well, you know, it doesn't seem to be very well taken care of. And uh, so Deb and others and you got together and have been meeting with the state and you recently kind of unveiled a plan to the commissioners this past week. Can you tell us a little bit about what's going to happen? We're very excited with our partnership. We work with the Department of Natural Resources, Maryland Park Service at many of our parks and Chapel Point State Park is a state park. The Park Service does have its limitations with some of their facilities since they're so spread out and we're right here locally so we thought this would be another good partnership where we could come in and assist them in making improvements to Chapel Point State Park. Um, beautiful facility, park entrance needs some work, you've shared some of those things. DNR actually acquired the property back in 1972. It has waterfront access. We're, we're very excited to be able to have additional waterfront access here in the county. So we've been working on a master plan. It's been a long process. It's been a couple year process, but we are finally coming to the end of that. We have developed a defined master plan. We've worked with Maryland Historic Trust because it is very strong, rich history. Archaeological finds have been there, and I'm sure there'll be many future archaeological Logical finds. It ties in with the Piscataways, right? It ties in greatly with the Piscataway Kanoi tribe, and they are also a partner in many of our projects already. So again, it's a pairing of everything that we do with our partners and coming together on another project. Great. Well, and what were a couple of the kinds of activities do you think that may be added to the park uh, when it gets turned over? One, and two, what kind of time frame do you think it will be when the state passes or agrees to the contract and turns it over to the county? The park currently is undeveloped and it's in its natural state. The roadway in, the entrance, and a couple of the existing kayak areas need some great improvements. So what we hope to do in the very beginning is make those maintenance improvements, a better roadway in, handle the drainage issues that are down near the kayak launch, better signage. Um, from there, everything will be phased in. There are some existing trails that are currently there for hiking. We would like to expand on those trails. Um, there is 828 acres. We are only leasing just under 50 acres, but again, some of those trails can connect with the other trails that are located on the DNR property. And we get the waterfront, right? And we get the waterfront. As far as I'm concerned, I feel we have the prime piece of property. Um, it's not quite a mile shoreline, but there is a beach area. Great. It is not for swimming, but it is perfect for picnicking, fishing from the shoreline, just enjoying the day with your family. Uh, more parking will be able to be uh, developed into that area, a limited number of parking, because again, we want to continue to preserve and protect the property and just make a good balance for recreational activities. Great, and this will tie in nicely to your Tom Rowland and, and Port Tobacco uh, projects and properties too, won't it? Yes, yes, it's right along that waterfront also. Uh, Port Tobacco Historic Village is um, another property of the counties that is in great expansion and right next to that is the Port Tobacco River Park, also known as the Tom Rowland Natural Resource Area. And we have a lot of visitors to the historic properties that have been going to the park and we've been getting rave reviews that had just opened this past fall. So continuing down Chapel Point Road, just a little more of a distance will be Chapel Point State Park. Great. So it will be a good pairing. It's recreational, it's tourist opportunities. And again, it ties in with our legends, lore and room to explore. To explore. And so in the next couple months, you think? We certainly hope within the next couple months, uh, we are in the final stages of finalizing the lease. It has one more stop, and that is before the Board of Public Works, which hopefully will be scheduled for April. Great. Once that is finalized, and this has been vetted very uh, intensely in many offices, once that is finalized in April, we should be able to start moving early spring to start making some road improvements and phase in over the next year every, all the improvements we would like to do. Well, very good. Well, thank you, Eileen. And I'd like to thank Eileen Minnick, our Director of Recreation, Parks and Tourism, for taking a little bit of time to tell us about our department and the new Chapel Point County Park that will be coming online in April. Uh, this is Michael Malinoff, and thank you for watching the County Administrator's Monthly Report on Video. See you next time.